Have you ever needed display contents in CSS? It's actually really handy and I just found out about it. So when you have a element, like I've got this navigation and I've got some items inside of it, right? I got three items and then I have this div with a class of action, which also has three items inside of it. If I display flex on that nav and apply some gap on it, you'll notice that those first three items, because they are direct children of the nav, they are flexing and they have their gap being applied to them really well. But because we have this div with a class of actions here, these items are not being treated as flex children and they kind of look kind of funky. So normally you say, okay, well, I have to like unwrap that thing, but that's not always the case. Or sometimes you want that div because in a different media query, you do want to have a wrapper around it. So what you can do is you can go to the element that is wrapping the elements and say display contents on it and boom, right away, the children of that actions div are being treated as direct children of our flex container. So display contents will tell CSS, do not treat me as an element and treat my children as direct children of the actual parent. It's still there in JavaScript, but I cannot do like a background red or a border, or I can't not put any other CSS on that div anymore because as far as CSS is concerned, it's just like, I'm skipping rendering this one. This is not part of the layout. Um, I'm simply just going to allow my children to keep flowing through, which can be really handy, both in flex containers as well as in CSS grid, where maybe you reach for subgrid for that, but this is a really simple solution. Now, another use case here is I've got this one to now resize itself. And I want to resize the actual input here when I have a bit more space. So what I can do is I can go ahead and select that input and put a flex grow of one on that thing. And now when I resize this div here, you'll notice that the thing that is growing here is the actual input. If I did not have display contents on that element, it's not going to flex grow because it's not a flex child at all. Super handy. Love it.